Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and this is the Velocicus. Now, this dinosaur here is fully customizable. What I mean by that is you can add many weapons to the design through various hookup points. And if you would like to weaponize it and you're not too sure how, then there is a link in the description to my weaponize it tutorial for the robot shown here, which will probably be the way I go about this for every one of my robot tutorials from now on, giving me the ability to put out multiple weaponize it tutorials for one robot, in case you want more variety in your missiles and cannons attached to the design. But of course, you guys let me know about all that in the comments. For this tutorial though, we'll stick to the basics with the overall machine and the cockpit. Alright, let's jump straight to it. So for this build you will need just over two and a half stacks of slime blocks, you'll also need 33 block of choice, 11 glass of choice, you'll also need 6 immovable blocks, I've chosen obsidian, you'll need 12 sticky piston, 31 regular piston, 37 redstone blocks, you'll also need something for his eyes, you can use glass or blocks or stairs, I've chosen stairs for the sunken in effect, so you'll need two of those, uh, the 26 quartz stairs here will be for the quills running down his back, the talons and the teeth, you'll also need quite a few redstone torches if you're building an survival but for this build right here we'll just need one uh, a crafting table and four boats now let's straighten up this inventory all right now first step go ahead and choose which direction you'd like to face I'm gonna go ahead and face the dinosaur towards this village here and what I will do is start it off with a block um, I will start off with my block of choice and then you want to go six blocks over so this is the first one here one two three four Five, and then on the sixth one place another block down this will obviously be the little two dots <laughs> that the dinosaur stands on now go ahead and grab your slime blocks come out backwards like so and then you want to come towards the middle like this and then once you've done this go ahead and place <laughs> not there, here slime blocks like so then you can come up and place your stairs in one here one here then go ahead off of the back and come up two slime blocks on each side throw a redstone block in the back of each one come back forward with your sticky pistons make sure that it's facing straight down like this on both sides and once you have this take your redstone block throw one there and throw one there so it looks like this alright now you want to grab your slime blocks and come back four like so and then on this one, one, two, three, four. So it's coming off of that redstone block. Then you want to go ahead and put a slime block here and there. Make sure you're positioned where I am. Come in with your pistons, one right here and one right there. This is, you know, very generic leg moving forward mechanism. Um, come back in with your slime blocks up two. And once you do that, put a redstone block there and there. Come back in with your pistons again and one right here on both sides. Then, once you've done this, go ahead and grab your slime blocks again, come back like so on this piston, and then on this one you want to come back two, and then over one. So it looks like this. Alright, next up is the engine. So when we come in like this, we're going to go in right here, the sticky piston, and then we're going to place a slime block right there. And then once we've done this, we're going to come back with our pistons, not right here, like so. And it should look like this. Then we're going to go ahead and use our obsidian, or whichever immovable block you've chosen, and put it right there. Then you're going to go around to the outside of the leg, come in with your redstone blocks right here, and with the slime block right there, so it looks like this. Then what you want to do is come in, put another slime block here, put a redstone block there, redstone block here, put a slime block there, put an, another piece of obsidian here, come back with your piston so it's like this, facing into the obsidian, and then you want to go ahead and place a sticky piston like this right there. So then, once you have this, you want to go ahead and place a regular block right there, then come over this way, place a block here, and then once you have a block there, place a block here. Once you've done this, come across the top with three slime blocks, and then what you would like to do is place a sticky piston right here. Once you've done that, place another slime block here, and come back with your piston to this point, then you can go ahead and come off the front with a regular block, place a slime block here, place another regular block there, 
your only redstone torch there. Place a redstone block here. And then from this position, you want to go ahead and grab a slime block, grab your sticky pistons, place one here. And once you've done that, come back with your pistons like so. So it's like this. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Place an obs as you did with the other side, place obsidian here. Go ahead, place a redstone block there, there, and a slime block there. So it looks like this. And then once you've done this, all you got to do is place a slime block there and a regular piece or a regular block right there. And this should be your engine. Next, we'll be doing the tail. What you want to do is grab your sticky pistons, come to the back side here, place the sticky piston right here, and then come off with your slime blocks like so. That's seven total slime blocks right here. Then what you want to do is place a redstone block here, one right there, and then come out with your piston like so. So it looks like this, and then finally for this little segment, you put a staircase here. Now just double check that this is a sticky piston, and then grab your sticky pistons again, and place sticky piston there, with a slime block like so, coming out three, like this, and you want to come down two from the top one, like so, and then two out from the bottom one, like this, so you have this kind of shape. Go ahead and grab your obsidian, or immovable object, place it right there, place a redstone block here, and then place one right there. Grab your pistons, place one right here, come to this obsidian, and face one into the obsidian, so it looks like this. Then to finish off this segment, a staircase right behind that piston. So it looks like this, and again, this is a sticky piston, go ahead and make sure. Grab your sticky pistons again, place one here, grab a slime block, come out three again, like on this one but you're only going to come down one. Place a piece of obsidian there, redstone block here and there. Grab a piston and make sure it's facing straight into this obsidian. Once you've done this, you can finish this segment off with a staircase there. Then coming back to this piston, grab your slime blocks, come out to here. So you have two, and then one on the top, make it four. So it's like this. Then grab a redstone block, put it there, and that is the full tail. Now, of course, let's break out this obsidian and just triple check, quadruple check. This is a sticky piston. These are pistons. This is a sticky piston. This is a sticky piston. And this is a sticky piston as well. So as long as you have all that going, you should be good. And this is the full tail. That's what it looks like. Next we're going to do the arms, so just go ahead and grab a regular block and place it here and one there, and I'll be mimicking everything I do on both sides here, so we'll do a piston here, piston here, then you want to come out like so with your slime blocks and place a redstone block here on the side, like this, and then same over here, like so, and then you want to come in, two on each side, place a regular block there, regular block here, place slime block, regular block, piston. So slime block, regular block, and then a piston. So I've tried to cut down on slime blocks as much as I could in the build by doing this little nifty trick here that this prismarine block attached to this slime block will push this slime block and of course these are attached to this slime block so it's good to go. Now moving forward, what we're going to do is the kind of claw area. So you come down like this, come out like so. So you have this kind of shape. And then once you do have this kind of shape, go ahead and place a redstone block there. Come in with your uh, talons, your staircase, and place two there. Now once you have this, that is the claw. And you can just go ahead and do that on the other side. And we will be good to go. Next up is the cockpit, so we're going to swoop down this direction with our pistons. Place one there, place one here, grab a slime block, place, place it there, place a piston on, right on front of that one as well. So it looks something like this. And then after you do that, come out with your slime blocks to this point, and then redstone block on top. We're going to use that sticky effect one more time. 
place the slime block here and then there. Grab your glass, place one here, place one there, and then place one right here. Grab your regular blocks, place one there, and then place one here and here. So the you want this one here so the boat doesn't actually slip through this as it moves. Uh, I've had that happen to me a couple times. Speaking of that boat, we're going to go ahead and grab it. And directionally, I'm facing towards the tail, as you can tell here. And then I placed the boat right there on that block. So yes and then once you do this you want to come to the sides with your slime blocks again one right here uh, we'll go ahead and put this in with a redstone block on the side go ahead and double it up uh, on the other side the other piston that we put in once we put it like this we can move forward grab our regular blocks again come down four and then once you do that grab your glass two on the front so it looks a little bit something like this again on the other side it'll look like this grab your glass throw it in there, grab your leg regular blocks, one there, one there. Now for the placing of the rest of the boats, you want to come to the cockpit area, again facing the tail, throw a boat right here, and then once you've done that, turn around, facing towards wherever this uh, machine will be walking to, and right here on this block, place a boat there, and parallel to it, place another boat right here. And that is that piece, and that segment of the dinosaur. Alright, starting on the top of the machine now, you want to go ahead and find where the piston is back to back with this sticky piston here, and grab your sticky pistons as well, and place one right on the top of this redstone block so it does this. Then, after you do that, place a slime block here, take your pistons and make sure there's one facing directly into the slime block, grab a redstone block, place it there, slime blocks again, have three of them come out of this sticky piston, grab your pistons, put one there, put one here, grab your staircase, place one there regular block here and then a craft table right here. Of course you can also put another craft table up here but I do that in the weaponized version. Anywho, moving on, what you want to do is grab your redstone block again and then grab your slime blocks, come out like so. Redstone block here, redstone block there. Using our sticky trick again, we're going to place a slime block here and then there. Come out three on both sides, so it's one, two, three total from the redstone blo block. One, two, three again. Then three again on the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that looks like this. Then, once you do that, you want to place a regular block here and then a regular block here. Grab a staircase. Grab your staircases. Place one there and there, there and then there. Grab your pistons. Place one there and then there. So it looks like this. So, for this next step though, um, if you plan on watching my Weaponize It for the Velocicus, then you don't have to listen to this part, because then when I do in fact Weaponize It, I will be taking out this one piece. So, if you don't uh, want to have to go through that trouble at all, or anything like that, then you don't have to follow this step. But if you do not plan to Weaponize the creature, then what you want to do is come in this direction, and throw in a slime block here, slime uh, sticky piston there and there then go ahead and grab your pistons place one here so it looks like so and then you want to do this for the other side yes this is another engine but I'm not gonna put the redstone block on right away and you'll see why in just a second so first throw these pistons down how we just did on the other side so it looks like so then once you do that you want to grab your slime blocks come three off and this is why we didn't as you know to prevent th for this piston this sticky piston from updating so then, once you do that, grab a regular block, put it there, sticky trick, put two sticky uh, blocks, uh, slime blocks right here, then once you do that, come off with it with a glass block there, slime block there, and one more glass block here. Then just go ahead and double that on the other side with slime blocks coming out like so. And then once you've done this, come out with regular block, two more slime blocks, and then glass, one right there, one slime block again right here, and then one more piece of glass right there. Then, after you do all this, go ahead and throw down your redstone blocks there and there. And that's that piece of the machine, which is just purely for aesthetic and look for like the overall shape of the dinosaur. 
Alright, moving on to the neck, we're going to come down this direction, and off of these pistons, just come out like this, and just make sure it looks like this, with the two slime blocks coming out, with this one block space in between. And go ahead and grab your redstone blocks, place one there, and then there. Now, we could have used our sticky effect, but I am going for overall aesthetic and look. I want it to look like an awesome dinosaur, so we're going to use the slime block here for just a, a neck. Then what we want to do is grab our pistons, place one there and there, off the front, like so. Then grab our staircases, put one there and then there, slime blocks again, two more here, two more there, and then once we do that, grab our staircases again, place them there, then slime blocks, which with our pushing, uh, our little pushing trick here, we'll do that, grab our pistons, place one there and there, and that is the neck. Now we will do the head and the full s and uh, the neck all in one swoop here, so we'll just come out like this from the these uh, pistons here. And then you want to count out. This is your first one, your first slime block. One, two, three, four, five. And then once you do that, do that to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And after you do that, place a redstone block here and here. And this will update both pistons uh, on both sets, this one and that one, on both sides. Then what you want to do with your slime blocks is come out. So there's two spaces in between this time on from both sides. And then once you do this, you would go ahead and grab your other staircase of choice. I use red for the eyes just because I think it looks really good. And place it like that. And then place another one like so. And then once you've done this, you can re-grab your slime blocks. Now you don't have to use slime blocks like right here and then right right here. Because this will all be pushed forward. I just do I do it for the green. Like as you can see there I do something different with the snout of the dinosaur. And here I use green just to fit like the whole dinosaur look. So once you're here I come out like this to about there, grab these slime blocks, and I come in about this direction, like so. So you have this overall look. Now the teeth, oh, he's looking kind of like a grandpa, so we got to go ahead and throw in some teeth. I personally think that they look the best like this. You can put them in there however you wish, uh, these staircases or blocks or whatever it is that you chose to do for the teeth. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, uh, and as soon as I do that, that is the full dinosaur. All right, you're probably wondering what to do with these leftover pieces here. Uh, <laughs> I forgot an aesthetic piece. Uh, it's just to make it more like a stomach for the robot. Uh, also, make sure your obsidian is still in there when you do this. Uh, put a slime block there coming off of this bottom sticky piston and then put a piston there. Then come out one with your slime blocks, one there, one redstone block there to update that piston last slime block there, and your regular block here. Now if you back up from the build, you can tell here, it looks more like a little stomach area. Looks a lot better. It looks like a full dinosaur, just with that little piece. Now it's completed. So the only issue I've found, if you can call it an issue, is that this slime block right here will turn this boat around. Now, then this will then spray water everywhere, making it very hard for you to get back, actually, too, because instead of being seated more towards the front of the boat, you're more seated towards the back, so you're more in this glass block here and this slime block, so it's harder to get back to these boats to get back to the cockpit to stop the machine. So an easy fix for this, I know it doesn't look as cool, but all you have to do is just come in like that, destroy those three blocks, and then just place a regular block right there, and that will solve that issue. Now let's just go ahead back here, blow out this obsidian, that one as well, and as soon as we do that, just all we do is give it a spin, and that's the Velocicus. But that's going to do it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Again, if you want to weaponize it, then there is a link in the description to my weaponize it tutorial for the Velocicus. In the tutorial, I make it an excellent contender for a robot battle. But until the next video, you guys, later late. Alright, so place this here, there. And we'll update it, and this should work. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We try again.